Hi, welcome to Clap Science Television. I'm your host, Keith McKinnon, and I'm here with guest artist David Lee Muscles from P.S. I Love You. Dave, how you doing, man? Excellent. Cool. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. You've Thanks been doing for having some me. things, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. David has a, his album isn't too new anymore, but it's called um, Liberty or Death. It's EP. Uh -huh. It's really, really, really good. It's P.S. I Love You's official debut, basically. Well, kind of. That live album. Yeah. That was called P.S. I Love You, but that was like Majesty Crush, wasn't it? <laughs> um, what was that? Yeah. Great record, by the way. Well, <laughs> what happened was we made these, uh, we made 500 of those albums, and then we're, we hand painted a lot of them, actually. We uh -huh. hand painted about 50 of them. Um, and some people still have those hand painted ones. I know I don't have one. I, get I gave one to my mom <laughs> and a few of my friends, and they still have those. Th those hand painted ones were really cool. Kind of, uh, you know, I don't know if there's this artist, German artist, Hundert Wasser is his name. It's kind of in that style. It's like watercolor really? uh, painting stuff. But so we did that, you know, and it just had, um, it said Majesty Crush in the beginning because I had this stencil, but we ran out of, we got, ran out of energy <laughs> to paint all of those. <laughs> So what we did was we just used the flyer and we put that, we blew up the flyer for the show at St. Andrews on Valentine's Day of 1996. We put that on the album and that's, that's how that happened. But it's really a, so... It's really a Majesty Crush album without Hobie. It's me, Michael, Odell, and Craig. And Mike Clark recorded it at the Magic Bag. So it's, it's a little bit... Right. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just the, you know, it has, the artwork has nothing to do with what it really is. So it's, it's kind of a cool little thing to have. So if cool. you have one, yeah. we still have some to sell. You know, you might want to pick one up. It's, if you got it's any hand-painted ones left, because I have... I don't have any hand-painted ones left. Well, I'll look for like, like a, a record show. But I've been painting lately, so maybe I can make you a painting. That'd be sweet, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but so this is the official P.S. I Love You debut. Um, mm -hmm. Sell Us Get Serious, Liberty or Death, great album. Uh, my favorite tracks on the record are like uh, Where on Earth is Kevin Shields, uh, um, New York, and uh, Windmill Friends. That's my tune. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never thought I liked it as much as I do, but I really like it. A lot it of people like that. You know, it's like uh, it, um, in England, the girl, we have this label, Rocket Girl, that's putting out the record over there at some point in the summer. They put out a single, Where on Earth is Kevin Shields. John Peel played it a lot. And, you know. Yeah got great reviews in some of the magazines and that, but they like Windmill Friends. Um, it was like Pennies for Love. The music was Penny for Love from uh, Love 15, but I, I didn't really, I, that was probably, in my opinion, like my worst lyric that I ever wrote was Penny for Love, so uh -huh. I wanted to replace the lyrics, and I recorded Windmill Friend at the time when we did Love 15. I wrote the lyrics that night, you know. Oh, um, so you did two takes of it that night? I did two, uh, well, uh, that, well, that I did. It was Pennies for Love was already done. You know, uh -huh. we did that with Mike Clark at the Temper Mill. Uh -huh. But what I did, the music was already done. I just went and I just wrote all the lyrics and I, I sang the Windmill Friend lyrics on, on top of it. Mm -hmm. And the band, they didn't really like it. You know, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't like it. They liked Penny for Love. It's so poppy and everybody liked it. I didn't like it though. <laughs> and I wanted to do Windmill Friends. Uh -huh. and, and, and if you listen to the song, you, you know, it's just like I'm, I get into it, you know. Oh, so. I know. That's why I like it. No, yeah. it's definitely, you it's know, really I'm definitely sweet. saying some stuff in that. And uh, I, yeah. I, like, I like that a lot. But I, I won't, we probably won't re-release that, you know, any of the, these songs. You know, people can go and find those things and they, they, they'll be rarities, you know what I mean? And uh -huh. that type of thing, you know what I mean? It's just like, or, or we'll, at some point later on, we'll, it'll be like a back catalog kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But we're moving on, man. We're recording a new album, and uh, it's going to be coming out. So we're, we're excited. We're going to be in the studio coming up. What's it called? This weekend. Oh. I, have, I haven't, well, I'm, I'm still working on that, like coming up with a title and that. I mean, I have some working titles, but we're, okay. we just, I just want to make sure that, you know. Uh, we'll take a break. <laughs> we'll be back okay. after these few videos. Check them out. <sighs> you were saying that you're still thinking about uh, a name for the new album. Right. A few things uh, I want to ask you about, man. Like um, the name P.S. I Love You is brilliant. Uh, you and I, we talk mm -hmm. you know, from time to time whenever mm -hmm. we catch each other. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, you, you turn me on to the fact that that's like a Beatles song. Because I don't have every Beatles record yet. <laughs> right. I don't have them all either. But, so uh, I wouldn't have known that. Yeah, it's, it's one of, I think it's one of the first songs. Uh, um, it's on one of the first albums, but it's... Um, As I write this letter... Mm -hmm. uh, to you, uh, P.S. I love you. Uh, That's cool, man. <laughs> you it's know, a great it's, really, name it's, a, for it's a great song. 
But uh, the reason that I came up with that name at that time is because I was breaking up with this chick and uh, I was writing her letters all the time and sending her flowers. <laughs> and I would always, you know, write, P.S. I love you or whatever, uh -huh. you know. And then it just kind of stuck, you know. It's just like Mr. Postman and whatever. It was just, and then Majesty Crush was a, was a, was a, was a, tra it was a good uh, transition from Majesty Crush to P.S. I love you because, uh -huh. you know, I mean, Majesty Crush was just kind of like, a band that had uh, had a lot of crushes on girls and that or whatever, and I wrote about a lot of people, you know. So, no. P.S. I love you is just kind of a natural extension of that. Yeah, man. So that's why. That's sweet, and it's, a, it's a, an extension that's much welcomed, man. Definitely. Um, you were saying to me that you don't know what you're going to call the record yet, so you're still looking at different titles. So. Right. But w w when are you looking for the release of your album to come out? You think? Um, it'll be out probably in like uh, spring. That's <laughs> the best time, baby. Yeah, tennis season. That's right. You're, you're a former tennis player, aren't you? Yep. I played tennis at Southfield High School. Uh -huh. um, I was number four singles there. Um, and, uh, you know, um, my sister was number one at Marion. Really? Yeah. She smokes now, which is a bit unfortunate, <laughs> in my opinion. Cigarettes. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, si right. Well, I don't know. Maybe other things. But, you know, that's, that's between her and... Her only, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But, you know, I mean, hopefully she'll quit smoking, a lot of people. Oh, because you, know. you can't play tennis when you're smoking and stuff. Well, you can play. I mean, y but Yannick Noah, I don't know if you remember Yannick Noah. He won the French Open. He was uh, uh, African from Cameroon. And really? His, and his mom was from France. Um, he's got a gap in his teeth like me. A lot of people <laughs> said that, you know, kind of looked alike when I was in high school. He had dreadlocks. He was like kind of, he was a very dynamic player. A lot of people know who he is. Uh, uh -huh. he, uh, he won the French Open, man. Like, I don't know what year, but uh, um, I don't even know why I bring him up. Tennis, smoking. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he was something? smoking, man. Like, he, he, you'd see him smoking. He, I think he was smoking a little bit of the reefer, too. <laughs> or, or the, the jazz cigarettes, you uh, know. That's what um, they call them, jazz ja cigarettes? Jazz cigarettes. Oh, that's cute. I've never heard that one before, man. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, I remember so, that, the jazz But, cigarettes. you know, I mean, a lot of them did. Vita Scarolitis and Chris Everett, you know. Uh -huh. A lot of them back in those days, many people did, you know. So okay. it's not that big of a deal, you know. Cool. <laughs> so. That's cool, man. Wow. But, yeah, hey. I mean, you know, we're thinking about calling the album, uh, you know, we had Love 15, that was Majesty Crush. So I'm thinking about calling the album the Wimbledon Accompaniment or you know, some, something with regard to that, but we'll see what happens. You know, What's your favorite sport, man, tennis? I like, I, I play basketball too, but te you know, tennis, uh, you know, what happened, know what, happened was, what happened was I went to Catholic Central when I graduated from, from, from grade school, and I got cut from the basketball team because I didn't, I didn't work hard enough <laughs> that mm -hmm. summer, and then I tried out for the tennis team. I didn't make the tennis team either, but then I went to Southfield High School and I made the tennis team there. But, uh, yeah, I played tennis a lot, you know, my, 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 my aunt, um, my, you know, you know they, they brought us to play tennis, and it's, it's a great game. You ever play tennis? I just joined the Birmingham Racquet Club, so. Really? I've been playing lately. I yeah. love to go out there and sweat a few. It's just, I have tr a tremendous respect for the game because mm -hmm. it takes so much coordination, man, and mm -hmm. agility. Yeah. The most, I mean, I think the oh, yeah. sport, man. Arthur Ashe, man, he's. Oh, he was the man, dude. You know, he's he was the definitely, man. He, you know, I read one of his books and. Uh, Good yeah, book. Great, excellent book. Arthur Ashe was just a, an amazing human being and uh, wow. you know, an inspiration to John McEnroe and, and many other people. Cool. So tennis what, is a great game. Cool, man. What about uh, like uh, the Venus girls? Uh, the Venus girls are <laughs> they're incredible. If I'm Ser saying that right, I don't know if I'm saying it right or not. I don't know what well, the names are. Well, the Williams sisters. It's okay. Venus and Serena Williams. Right. Uh, Serena Williams is is kind of taken over. I mean, she's just a powerhouse. I don't know if you've they're seen really, her. Uh -huh. she's, they're not going to be beat, though. You know what I mean? They're not going to beat us, you know? Uh-huh. No. So you watched them? <laughs> yeah, so. I watch them. I watch them all the time. It's like, yeah, yeah I watch they them. rock. I watch them. I watch them. I watch Sweet. Tiger Woods. I watch them all. Cool, you know? man. Cool. I watch them all, dude. Tiger Woods, Allen Iverson, Grant Hill, you know? Okay. You got to love sports, you know? You got to love athletes know. because ath athletes are winners. You know, athletes work hard. They're healthy. They eat right. They, they go to bed. You know, they're goal-oriented. Athletes are great examples in anything you do in life. So, so I think I think athletes are are 
definitely inspire me to do you know whatever I, it is I do, and Sweet, that, so that's right? why I try to at least play tennis or uh -huh. basketball or ride my bike or do whatever. But you know that's cool, what I'm interested right? in is is you know playing some basketball, whatever, be, being in shape, you know, and, and okay. you know just being in shape. We'll be back in a minute. I'm here with guest artist David Lee Muscles from P.S. I Love You. You're watching Clef Signs. <laughs> hey, we're back. I'm Keith McKinnon from Clef Signs Television, here with guest artist David Lee Muscles, P.S. I Love You. David, you're uh, telling me uh, uh, yeah. during the break that you're going to be doing some videos soon. I mean, you're going to do some videos for this new album that's coming out? Soon? Yeah, we have some concepts, and I have some concepts. In fact, uh, you know, we're going to try to do some things um, <laughs> they're ex they're athletic oriented, you know, athletic really? athletic oriented. So I mean that's that's what I have in my mind. But uh, but we'll see. I mean that that'll be down the line. I mean okay. you know just one step at a time. You know. Do you uh, have any gigs coming up? Yes, we're playing the uh, Magic Bag Theater on February twelfth. Um, what day is that, dude? With Slumber Party. It's a Saturday night. We're there, man. I think Morrissey's Saturday like Sunday. Night. Yep. We're going to play, oh. and then we're going to go and see Morrissey, and then we're moving to Los Angeles. Yeah, man. we got to go see Morrissey together. That's going to be sweet. That's oh, yeah. That's my Oh, yeah. Uh, cool, man. So February 12th, the match bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be there, man. We'll be there at B-Square, man. That's, oh, yeah. That's going to be a good show. You're going to move. You're going to leave me. Well, you and know, I got my... You always have a home here with us, though, man. Well, I always have a home. Yeah. I always have a home. Detroit have a home is my Detroit, home, and I have, I have my condo in Birmingham, you know, so I'm a bi-coastal, you know, jigger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't fuck on that. True man. that, man. Straight up. I feel up. that, bro. That's sweet, man. That's cool. Straight up, man. That's you know, I'll cool. be, you know, I'll be going to Europe and stuff. I mean, Rocket Girl, you know, we have this label called Rocket Girl in England, and she's been working really hard. You know, she put out um, 14 different releases, different bands in, since 98. You know, that's quite a bit. Since, since two years ago, three 14, years ago? Fourteen releases. So two she's, years ago. she's doing a lot of stuff, and she's doing it on her own on an indie level, you know. In England. In hey. England, and it's really hard over there, you know. I mean, she's, uh, she, it's, it's, it's difficult, but she's doing it, and she's doing it by herself. And, I mean, she, I spoke with her yesterday, and she asked me to come over there and help her out with that, you know. But, you know, so I don't know. I mean, I, my mom's from Germany. I'd like to go over there at some point. And, uh, and I spoke. I communicate, I pr almost prefer to communicate in German, to tell you the truth, and that's something that many people don't really know about me, you know. Um, <laughs> Dave is bilingual. But, uh, I'm bilingual, that's sweet, and, man. you know, I'd like to be trilingual. I speak a little bit of French. I mean, there's many things that we can do. Uh, uh, everybody, you know, and that's, that's something that I respect about, uh, like, um, Kobe Bryant. He plays for the L.A. Lakers. Most Does people, speak like three most people don't know that Kobe Bryant speaks fluent Italian. Yeah, I heard about that, yeah. man. That's Kobe sweet. Bryant, Kobe Bryant, uh, that's bad, Kobe man. Kobe Bryant, you know, and, that, and that's, you know, that's, that's what I think, you know, music, music is cool, but I've been also writing for MTV, you know, I got that thing, it's something that I wanted to do, I saw it on the website, and I, and I, people ask me, how did you get that thing with MTV? Well, I saw it, and then I, you know, I, I sent him all the stuff, and I've been doing that, you know, so I write for them. What is So that? as a result of that, well, it's an online uh, MTV.com. You go on there, and then um, you can read about uh, your local scene, wherever you are in the country. Uh, the, just pick your city, and it's really comprehensive. They, they have all of the uh, clubs in Detroit, all of the record stores, all of the bands. It's, it's amazing. Anything you ever want to know about any city in this country, you can go to MTV.com and find out about it. So it's pretty cool, I've been doing that, and as a result of that, I've been able to you know, get some other writing assignments, and that's kind of boosted my confidence a bit, you know, because I can do other stuff besides music, you know, and that's, course, I think man. that's important for people to realize, because the music business is a pain in the ass. You know, really? let's just be honest about it. Okay. It's tough, <laughs> you know what I mean? Really? And uh, well, ask yeah. anybody, you know, Kid Rock, you know, or the Howling Diablos, or Dennis White, you know, from Charm Farm, right. you know, who's doing a Static Revenger and his control freak thing now, or, you yeah. know, ask me, you know, or ask John Brandon from the Laughing Hyenas, or ask, ask anyone, and they'll tell you, you know, that it's a struggle, or whatever you do, you know, creatively is a struggle, being a painter, or whatever you do, because you're going against what society wants you to do, you know, you, you know, so it's, it's, I don't know, and then there's, a, there's a whole, a bigger a lot of other different issues 
you know, that we both know that I don't know if we really have time to get into right now. Sure. Music business now, yeah, it's man. changing so rapidly today with the internet and MP3 and, you know, all of the record companies, I mean, there's three companies that own almost all the record companies, you know. When we were with Majesty Crush, we had, we kept our own label and then we were on Dolly, Chameleon, Elektra, Time Warner, <laughs> you know. So there's all those different interests and so you're not able to, you know, I mean, that's great. They give you money and that's great and all that and they, 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 they you know, they open up the, the, the horizon for you. But at the same token, yo. <laughs> In other words, that means you're getting screwed over. So. You know, it's like, you're like yeah. Because, you know, you're young and you're hungry, man. And a oh, lot yeah. of people in the business take advantage of that. They see right. a young, hungry, and talented and just ready to just tear the world, you know, just set right. it on its ear. And, you know, I right. always tell people that there's two types of people, man. Yeah. There's the one person that sees that you have a talent and they exploit you. Yeah. And the other person, they see you have a talent and they help you. And you right. got to pick which person you're going to be. And with these record labels, the big right. labels... They usually explain well, you know, you. like when you read those record contracts, like we've we've had two record contracts. We signed a we signed a record contract and we signed a publishing agreement. I just read the publishing agreement for the first time in a long time because I mean I was emotionally pretty wounded by what happened with us. But you know, match like, the crush, right? Uh -huh. But like you know, anything in life, there's setbacks and there's things. It's right. just you have to overcome those things, you know. But when you read those contracts, it's like uh, you know they they don't they make no bones about you know telling you that they're exploiting you. I think those, they use those exact words, you know, <laughs> with pursuant to agreement, you know, 1A, uh, we own the territories, um, uh, you know, A through Z, uh, concurrent, um, for in perpetuity uh, around the world, uh, our territories are around the world, and you get so and so much money, and uh, then if you, you know, I mean, it's goal oriented, you know, if you have a good lawyer, usually they'll, they'll make provisions in your contract where if you succeed, they succeed and they reward you for the success in that, you know, which is cool because you're working. A lot of times bands, they think, oh, we're signed, we're made, you know, and it's like, man, you got another thing coming, buddy. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta get in there and you gotta, you know, you gotta bust your tail, you know, and, that's the bottom line, you know, but you need good people in your corner so that you can focus on music, you know, I think that's important too, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Hey, uh, we'll be back after this message um, with more from Mr. David Lee Muscles. <laughs> Watching Clef Signs. Well, look, Dave, man, thank you for coming out and talking to us. Mm -hmm. uh, David Lee Muscles from P.S. I Love You. Uh, thank you for having me, Keith, and oh, yeah, thanks, thank, thank you for for spreading the word about musicians and, and especially PS Love, you've helped me out on numerous occasions yeah, on the radio program and playing yeah. our music and yeah, uh, and um, you know you, you, you help you know with your band swag. I, I wish you mucho success and with Thanks, your man. endeavors in the rap field and, and the hip hop you, and the and entertainment and you know whatever yeah, else man. you do. And, and it's people you know. like you that make it worthwhile, bro. Well, it's you, people you, that you that brother, you know, help too. Man. <laughs> so, you know. Thank you, man. Um, we have some exclusive PS I Love You footage. That we're about to show you, so uh, check it out, and I hope you like it. And um, hey, you've been watching Clef Signs, guest artist David Lee Muscles. Yes, I love you, Mom. Peace, I love you. Stephanie. Uh, yeah. And yeah. Um, you said Tony the, from the band and Jack from the band, and uh, and the website is called again. The website is uh, VolvaRecords.com. V U L V A Records.com. Mm -hmm. um, you can purchase any of our records online. Um, there's a bunch of cool pictures and uh, very good links to other sites. W D E T. Uh, Cool. Um, MTV, uh, um, some of my friends' websites. Right. So. Thanks again. You've been watching Clef Science Television. Much love. Guest artist David Lee Muscles from PS. I love you. Detroit. Uh, always have a good time. Uber Alice. That's right. And uh, see you somewhere out in space. <laughs> Double. <laughs> There's one you guys might remember from a long time ago.
Lounge doing tonight? Hey, you down with the clown? Yeah. Hey, we are. Yeah. <laughs> 